having people in Guam elect a person who sort of acts like a mini-president in the territory constitutionally is problematic. Attorney Dustin O'Brien has filed a lawsuit in New York challenging the constitutionality of Guam's elections. He argues that the Constitution only gives the president the power to appoint the leaders of a territory like Guam. So why is he interested in Guam? Well, it turns out that O'Brien used to work on Guam for the alternate public defender's office. Is it true that uh, you were fired from the alternate uh, public defender's office? Um, that's right. That's right. I was discharged. O'Brien says this has nothing to do with his lawsuit. What I'm doing has nothing to do with that. Um, you know, I really you, I have a lot of respect. I have a lot of respect a for the public defender of the government. <laughs> no, no, no. I, you know, I really, it was a great experience. Um, I, you know, I really, I, you know, perhaps I would have changed things a little bit. I'd still love to be on an island and working for the government. I really had hoped to, you know, become an attorney on Guam and, and work there and work for the people of Guam, but it just didn't turn out that way. But, you know, sometimes things don't work out, but that's okay. So this really doesn't have anything to do with uh, my time as a Gulf Guam employee. You know, it really has to do more with you know, meeting people on Guam. People were so gracious and nice to me while I lived on Guam. Instead, O'Brien says this was all sparked by the fact that he still had to file taxes on Guam when he first moved back to the States. After I left, I, can, I would tell you that the Guam Territorial Income Tax followed me into New York, and if, if I have certain constitutional rights that people in Guam don't, yet I was still obligated by federal law to file my income tax with the governor in Guam, well, you know, that's constitutionally very problematic to deprive a state citizen of all the rights that he should enjoy, or she. Um, so that was, you know, that's kind of the incarnation of the lawsuit. So what is O'Brien's real objective? The real goal is to, you know, um, I, want, I want attention to be drawn to the issue of, of Guam's political status. O'Brien says that if a judge were to find Guam's ability to elect its own leaders as unconstitutional, then it would force the U.S. Congress into lending Guam some form of real self-government. O'Brien says the easiest way to do this is to make Guam a state. I think um, back in 1966, when Congress first you know, sort of started taking votes on the elected governorship of Guam, it was very clear if you look at what Congress said back then that they had every intention or thought their predecessors would admit Guam as a state, maybe even before the end of the 20th century.